Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the sulfur and nitrogen dioxide set by Mel Chemistry, we will synthesize sulfur dioxide and then watch how it reacts with thymol blue pH indicator. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the sulfur dioxide experiment, you'll need solutions of sodium metabisulfite, thymol blue pH indicator, and citric acid, paper flowers, a measuring spoon, and a candle. From the starter kit, take a stove, a flame diffuser, a flask, and a beaker. Prepare some water and a lighter or matches. Carefully moisten the paper flowers with thymol blue solution. Take the stove, place a candle in it, and light it. Cover the stove with the flame diffuser and set a flask on top. Add into the flask sodium metabisulfite and citric acid solutions, one big measuring spoon of each. Put the flowers in the flask. Sodium metabisulfite reacts with citric acid to yield sulfur dioxide. Heating speeds up this reaction. Sulfur dioxide dissolves in water contained in the moistened flowers. When dissolved, it creates an acidic environment that, in turn, turns thymol blue indicator red. Take the flowers from the flask and put them in the beaker. In order to stop the production of the gas, Pour excess water into the reaction mixture. Sulfur dioxide will gradually evaporate from the surface of the flower petals, thus lowering the acidity of the medium. That's why thymol blue will turn from red to orange. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.